This will be another video about target panic. And this is for release shooters. There's a lot to be said about it and a lot of people cover this stuff, but this is just what helped me, especially when I was real young, shooting target tournaments all the time and getting that anticipation released. You can't hold the pin on the spot. You hold it below, you hold it above or come in from the side and you just, it sucks. So I'm going to show you this little tool that I got, my grandpa got me when I was eight years old. Because I, I shot my first deer when I was eight with my fingers. And then I was shooting tournaments a bunch. And I was always a finger shooter, but he had me try releases and stuff. And when I got into the release game and all that and shooting these five spot targets, things happened. And I got it bad. And back then, there was this. Some of you might know it, but it's called the answer release. You can't punch it. You got to squeeze it, squeeze it, pull with your back, boom, and it goes. This thing saved me big time when I was young. And I, I'll still train with it from time to time because even shooting fingers, I'll catch myself holding too high. And I just, it, it's always there. Sometimes it, I think it's gone, but it'll creep back up on you if you let your, let your shot cycle go to crap. It's just what happens. Anyway, they don't make these anymore. If there's another one available, I'd be interested in buying it. But let's go in here and I'll show you how it works through this little sight glass. All right, there's the little release head. So if you can see that right there, that little arm, squeeze, it breaks over. There's a little set screw right there. You can set it to where it'll catch. You punch it, it'll catch it. You squeeze it off, the little arm pivots around and your shot breaks over. But you can set that to where it won't even, it won't even grab and you can shoot it like a regular release too. But I'm actually planning on, just since I'm doing this, I, uh, I've lowered the knocking point on my bow because you know you're shooting a release, that's all that's on the string instead of three big fat fingers. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hunting with this, try to shoot my last year of the year with it. Still shooting no sights, because I used to do this. I had a little Scott grip release, and I'd come back, and I still do it the same as wh whether I'm shooting a release or fingers. I'll anchor, and that cock feather will be right underneath my big old nose. So either way, it's still the same. This just gives you a more crisp release. The arrow flies straight every time. You don't have to worry about your fingers catching, but I always like to make it hard on myself. If you've watched any of my other videos, I'd... and actually with this, I know it's a weird mindset to have, and I still shoot it instinctive with no sights, and I feel like this is cheating because it's aiding me in a good release. And I always try to make everything hard on myself, as weird as that sounds. But anyway, I'm going to shoot it. And I'm going to go hunt with it this evening. Maybe a big old buck will come in. But I put a new strap on this a long time ago. And I'm going to shoot this right now. My daughter, Vesper, I had her shooting. She shoots, uh, she, she shoots with her fingers with her other bow. And I got her a four-finger true fire. She likes coming back so she don't beat up her fingers. Um, she got target panic a couple months ago and was out in the yard crying because she couldn't shoot. She'd get about here and, and flinch so bad. About three days in that broker, she was holding the pin on her spot and it had done a mind reset. If that makes any sense to you, if you've ever had it, then you know. It, it, it'll reset your mind if you can draw back and you can't shoot. It, it calms everything down. It's like, hey, 
you can't shoot unless you make a good shot now. And I know there's all kinds of other stuff on target panic and how to blind bail and, and all the stuff. I know all about it. I've researched everything. I've been doing this since I was a little kid. And uh, I know about Joel Turner and the shot IQ. I just haven't bought any of that. But this is what I was born into when I first got it bad. My grandpa got me this. So, hey, I'm gonna, let's take a couple shots. I'm going to show you. I'm just, I'm going to flinch hard and I'm going to show you that it won't shoot. All right, so I, I've already set this up for this release. I just lowered the knocking point. I always like coming straight off the string. Heck with them loops. This thing's made to come off of straight off the string. And another one of my theories is I used to shoot a loop to experiment. A lot of people, everybody shoots loops almost. But I ain't gonna tie a string to a string to hook onto the string when I can go straight off of the string. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So I'm still, this is still my, my hunting bow. Shoot at no sights. I probably will till I'm dead unless I can't see good for some reason. I don't know. But I'll come back. There's my anchor, just as I was be shooting fingers. All right, so I'm just gonna exaggerate this. You get up there, you get to aiming. You, you flinch, flinch. Oh, won't go off. With this, once you flinch and it don't go off, push it back forward to reset it. After a couple of those, it calms you down, and you're like, okay, you need it's not going it. off. I'm not going to accidentally just shoot when I don't want, so I'm just going to, all my focus is on the target, mm -hmm. on the spot I want to hit. I'm pushing and pulling, rolling my elbow back. Perfect. I, I absolutely hit dead center where I wanted my arrow to be. So here, let's get another angle. Here's another angle. I'm going to exaggerate the flinch because I, I know when I, whenever I put this on my wrist, because I shot a lot of tournaments with it, and I, man, I would do good. A lot of perfect rounds. It felt awesome. Had a Tsunami Pro Line compound bow, and it was just tuned perfectly. Just like I'd be shooting fingers that cock feathers under my nose. It feels natural. I'm gonna go for that spot. Oh. Uh oh. See, I'm and I'm punching. Watch. Uh -oh. It won't fire. Now you it calms you down. It resets the brain. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Perfect flight hit right where I wanted. Here, I'm gonna shoot this bear shaft. I'll do three shots for you. Dad, should we get an angle like right there by the... No, um, after I shoot this one, Vesper's gonna put this on and shoot for you. And she pro and she's not gonna exaggerate anything. She's probably gonna flinch a couple times, won't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. My normal one, I shoot better with because I'm used to it. Yeah. I get a little nervous. Because I knew, no, it won't shoot. There's a flinch. And I actually didn't do that on purpose. Flinched again. A lot of times. See, I flinched, flinched a couple times. I was just wanting it to go off, but the, after a couple days of training with something like this, it'll it'll reset you. Now, Vesper, go ahead and grab your bow. Squeeze off a good shot, okay? Easy. Focus on focus on pushing and pulling and aiming. Yeah, let down. Take a break. Reset your trigger.
Be calm, push, pull, let the pin hover. Easy. Squeeze your whole hand and rotate your shoulder. There you go. Here, do another one. You got another field point? Mm -mm. That's why I need to make another. Yeah. Now you know it ain't gonna shoot and you're not gonna make a bad shot. Mm -hmm. You calm down and push, pull, aim, hover the pin on your spot. Just lay your finger right on the trigger. Hook it around the trigger. No. Push, pull. There you go. That was way better. Does it calm you down a little bit? Mm-hmm. Here, do it's another. It's easier to squeeze your whole hand. Yeah, squeeze your whole hand and use your back Make muscles. Make a fist like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Make you a good shot this time. Don't punch it. Focus on hitting that spot. Steady. Steady. There you go. <laughs> you got to see it. This, they don't make this anymore. I wish I could find me another one just to have it. I can't find them anywhere. It's called the answer release, punchless release. So, if you have one and you got target panic or you've got bad trigger punch, try that and reset yourself. I'm going to go shoot a few with this and go hunting tonight. Try to shoot me a big old buck. Chubbs. Chubbs is going to get thumped. Thanks for watching. Bye.